I have named this uh, series of messages Lost Little Man. And I would imagine that most folks know who I'm talking about. His name was Zacchaeus. And uh, in vacation Bible school and Sunday school, kids sing about the wee little man. As a matter of fact, when I was uh, ministering this message at Freedom Road, the church that I pastor, three of my granddaughters were sitting there in the second pew, and I said, do you all know this song? And they said, yeah. They said, come on up and sing it. And I had them sing it right in front of the congregation. They knew it about a wee little man. But this uh, little man, as I refer to him, he was a lost man. And he, uh, I say this. When it comes to the pinnacle of success in life, he had arrived. He was rich in, in Scripture. Luke, the writer of the Gospel of Luke, he tells us, he said, Zacchaeus was a little, lost, rich man. And let's think about this for a moment. In society, people think about being rich. Some people may even dream about being rich. Some people dedicate their whole lives in the pursuit of being rich. And most of the time, people think, if I could be rich, then I would have all my problems solved. And life would be rosy from here on out. I'd have nothing else to be concerned about. Truth of the matter is, is that history and just the facts of life does not bear that out. Truth is, there's a lot of miserable rich people. Well, Zacchaeus, as I said, he, he had arrived. He was a very, very rich man. And he had gained his wealth by chumming up with the Romans. And that was just not kosher. And most of the people of those times and in the area in which he lived, that was not something that people admired him for. But he had risen the ladder. He was not only a rich man, he was a publican or to say a tax collector, and he was the chief of the tax collectors. Like I say, in the eyes of the carnal man, that is excess to the extreme. And many, many people would sell their own souls to be in that position. And you say, Pastor King, how do you know this? Well, I live, I watch, I observe. And this is what I have observed. This is what I've seen. Sometimes people who are Christian believers, churchgoers, they abandon it all because their heart has been given over. As the parable says, the deceitfulness of riches and the cares of this world, their heart has been stolen away and may even become like Zacchaeus, a rich, lost person. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.